Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is about the OBD11 and in particular how to reset the engine oil light. So a lot of people have been asking me um, how do you reset the engine oil light or reset it to different intervals. So <coughs> I'm just going to make a quick video here to show you guys how to reset the engine oil light. There's a few ways of doing this. Um, the app itself is very easy to navigate around. So you just need to give yourself a bit of time to play around with it and make sure you don't press no button. So obviously first you need to connect the vehicle, to, um, the uh, software to the car. So it's connected to a car, whichever car you want to do the reset engine oil light reset on. So with this there's two ways of doing it so when you on the uh, main menu uh, it's got the car to look up the settings supported vehicle devices help about do this there's you go into it so from there the engine control module with obviously vcds delphi snap on and all that there's basic settings or a service button which this also has which i'll show you in a minute from this, if you do go in, in after you find the fault codes and go in this way, it's a bit harder to find. So, you, um, would it be under basic settings? Nope. I don't think we could find it that way. The, is it under adaptation? No, I wouldn't say it's under this one. This has got more like adaptation of engine loading pressure and all of this timing deviation, timing deviation, after chain, initial value chain, timing deviation, and so on. So on here, it's not got it where you can just do it from here, but I can't see, so reset, no, I don't want to reset, nothing like that. Um, change service, maybe, select the uh, diagnostic session mode active obd and assembly i don't think it's got anything to do with any of them so from this menu it wouldn't be there and with it is you'd go back to the main um maybe you go to your car you hit from the main menu say you are here you go into the car this is how you do the service from the car, you have all of these options, info, history, apps, gorgeous, manuals, charts, control unit, full backup parts, and discussions. So the easiest way to reset the engine oil light is you go into the apps, and then it's got some options across the top here. So in the adjustments, as you can see, it's got the oil temperature, day, daytime activation, and each of them is tells you it takes 10 credits. So if you look down, in the bottom right hand corner it tells me i've got 20 credits every day you get one credit otherwise you can go ahead and buy some credits like wallet and then it tells you 63 so now if you wanted to add some 10 credits 100 credits 500 credits so 100 credits it would be like 17 17 dollars that's not bad so if I wanted to add, say, 500 credits, it comes to $42.62. So with 500, let's say, for example, you wanted to do a lot of programming um, with the touch of your finger, just with the uh, dongle in the car and do it from your phone, you could do the oil in temperature is 10 credits, daytime activation, 10 credits, summertime menu uh, 3g if you wanted to put 3g video in motion it's 100 credits so that's our big one there scandinavian light soundtrack uh, dr dry select mmi another 100 so most of them are 10 but some are like extra 10 credits um 100 credits illumination euro parking lights stop start function this is 
these functions are only specific to my vehicle so your vehicle may not have all of these may have even more so all of these are opened out and you could do it comfort windows cornering light headlight washer gorge tester needle swap so it's got all of these adjustments so now if you go to the second one the retrofits <coughs> again it's got 100 credits for tail light mar to eu so if you look to the right of it it tells you you need 100 credits for it led license plates lamp 10 credit garage door opener 10 credits so this is all for the retrofits so retrofits it does all of that shift paddles so people who want to do um custom paddle shifts and they could uh, add it with this device here so now we get to the workshop so again if i've gone i'll just go over this one more time so from the main say you go here you go into the car and then into the car's apps and once you get into the apps in the corner the third one from the top you go into the workshop oil service reset it takes 10 credits to do this so once you've gone into there oil service reminds you change oil in vehicle schedule and referred by manufacturer applied to use reset the oil service reminder in vehicle to reset oil service make sure that all service operations were completed as per owner's manual so to do that you just have to make sure you swap the oil and oil filter and whichever one you've done so once you've done that you would go you would go to reset press this corner one here first you'd hit this core um uh, green one down here hold and right so we're gonna have to hold and write it my one's already been done so this oil's light reminder but say you've got the interval you recognize my car's been it's already done it but see the the a drop down arrow there it gives you the interval so if you want to do long interval or short interval or the, the one where you get that annoying service due service due you just go in there and you say um remove the service due light so it can do one of them for you so also with it it's got the brake pads replacement so electronic parking brake if you want to open close it test it that one takes 10 credits also just be aware heater unlock on service interval so the service interval one has got two services actually so the first one's to remove it and the select value fixed for eu fixed for us for diesel gasoline so we, if we were in the eu we'd hit that one and that would be that and you just again with a green button down at the bottom right you'd hit that and if jobs is done so that's just the basic oil light reset so if you're finding it difficult once to go in from here it's going to be difficult to find it but the best option would be just to go in the control units uh, tab at the top corner top left go into the car and then go into apps and then into workshops so that's the easiest most easiest way to do it and to reset your service light so again cars apps not gorgeous gorgeous is something else so this is for inside humidity so you just have to play around with this guys and it's very easy once you get used to it it's like vcds you, you it was hard at first but you've got used to it it's the same with this one once you get used to it it's easier and more convenient thank you guys please like this video and please subscribe mm -hmm. so i can bring you more videos thank you very much for watching see you again